hello guys welcome back to my channel dp design and in this video as you can see we will have a one fun simulation using ansys explicit dynamics so right now you can see this car hitting the wall with very high velocity and it's damaging like this so it's kind of funny simulation but uh, great learnings in uh, this simulation what to do for this kind of a crash test so whenever you will have to uh, do the front impact side impact or roll over test you can do this kind of test so let's begin from the uh, workbench starting i am closing this one for now yeah so as you can see my all data has been completed right now so for what, uh, what first thing you have to do you have to create a one uh, box which is having an explicit dynamics type of simulation right you can select it from here whatever type whatever simulation you want to do you can just double click on it and it will appear over here in a box right i have, I have uploaded uh, many uh, simulations regarding uh, this so you can uh, check out my other tutorials for this uh, basic thing of uh, ansys so in the engineering data i have updated the uh, aluminium and a structural steel alloy uh, sorry structural steel and aluminium alloy for, as the material data right so now i am closing this for now and in the geometry i have uploaded the uh, model which was in a step file and i have done meshing in that one so it will take time yeah so as you can see these uh, two parts i have uh, uploaded so this is my car and this is my sorry a car yes so accordingly you can set up your uh, modeling over here okay so any boolean operation if you want to do you can just uh, click over that so in the model i am going yeah so it's loading actually ah okay now it's done i think yeah now as you can see uh my car is this one and in the geometry i have selected two uh, two bodies so i click off the wireframe model so you can uh, understand better now for the car i have done it as a stiffness behavior as a flexible and this solid also flexible but you can make it rigid if you if you don't want any deformation on the wall right uh, so it will treat uh, treat like a rigid body and for the car you have to give the flex flexible it because it will have the stress energy and uh, deformation so you want all the data on the car only so you can uh, make it a flexible for now and yes you can give it a aluminum alloy and this one this material have applied as a structural steel as you can see if i click on a solid so yes it it is applied as a structural steel okay now in the ansys there is a automatic body interaction is there so you can just go to body interaction and uh, yes this is a frictionless so if you have a frictional data or reinforcement data so you can uh, click this here and run it accordingly right so for now i will do it a uh, friction less because i don't want any additional computational time for this kind of simulation so yeah in the mesh also i have done uh, the if you click it all right uh, update and it will update the meshing which i have done a very basic meshing it is right not any complex uh, operations has been done on the meshing side so i'm not uh, focusing on that and for the initial condition either you have to give the displacement of the uh, for the car or the very higher velocity for this one okay so it will uh, the simulation as uh, can be completed in a very uh, small uh, increment of time so for that uh, for that instance you have to uh, select the explicit dynamics right so it can solve it very better and give you the uh, appropriate results so in the initial condition 
that is a pre-stress and the velocity so this is the default but in the velocity you can just uh, give in the x direction okay so x direction is going like this as you can see the arrow is uh, opposite side so you have to give the velocity in the minus value so as you can see my y component and z component is zero in the velocity terms and uh, x component is given uh, minus 1.5 to 10 raised to 6 mm per second which is my velocity value right and in the analysis setting the maximum number of cycles has been selected as this and uh, the end time is this so maximum energy error is a uh, 0.1 to be considered and uh, energy cycle should be zero yeah so other parameters you can play with according to your uh, functional requirements now you have to fix this wall right so even if you have if you have the rigid body you can select any face over the uh, a wall because it will not deform at any cost but as you can see this is the uh, flexible model so you cannot select the upper one or the lower one you have to select both or this face or this face right or uh, side both uh, walls or uh, faces right so in the fixed support i have given the fixed value to this edges okay i have selected the wrong one for now but no problem at all okay so you can select uh, your uh, fixed faces whatever you want to select and the displacement i have updated in a y component is a zero okay it will not move in a up or a lower direction it will go in the x or z direction okay now if you see i have already updated the model so i will close this and yes whatever i data i have I will upload that model or I can solve it also no problem so I will update this it will take time so it is updating right now okay So for this kind of uh, crash test analysis, I would prefer uh, Abacus explicit dynamics because you can uh, input a very uh, large material data set is there. So you can apply the any data you want, right? So Abacus is better uh, in the explicit dynamics. I will explain in upcoming videos that uh, why the abacus is better than this one so you will get to know so it is still updating by the time uh, i will apply the my quick access and yes car crash it is already ready so i will uh, load that model actually instead of going this it will take a time i think So what I will do, I will just uh, cancel this one. Or let's say I will uh, select the end task. End task. And yes, I will up update this model. Yeah, so it's ready. File has been modified since no. Okay. Now I will double click on it. Sometimes you will face many errors in that. So no, no need to worry. You can just. Yeah. So we are on it. So as you can see, according to the boundary condition, the results are here only. 
so you can just accordingly you can go to the solution and uh, go to the stress tool whatever you want to calculate you can just uh, input the data and run the simulation uh, don't run your simulation before selecting any output because your simulation will uh, not give out if you don't select uh, any of this so right you can probe it also whatever stress you want to uh, see so it will apply the probe also okay what result you want to see so accordingly it will uh, give you the result but i if i want to uh, give you uh, show you the equivalent stress so here you can see and in the animation i would love to run this on a 100 frames because it will run the smoother and yeah i will increase a second and play the simulation so this is the tabular data form what is the time what is the minimum and maximum stresses are coming so it will uh, show you accordingly as you can see so if you have a larger number of increments and so yes your animation will run very smooth yeah so that's all for the video accordingly you can done your uh, you can do your simulations for the frontal impact, side impact, rollover, any of this. Yeah. So in the future, we will upload uh, explicit dynamics of the Abacus also and how it is better than any software. Right. So that we will give the clarification on that. So till then, we will see you and keep sharing, keep learning, keep liking if you love our content. Please comment if you want any uh, specific video on the topic. So yeah, we will look on that also. And thank you so much. Keep supporting, keep learning.